The third generation of artists are artists who grew up on missions and are largely self-taught. And this includes the late H.J. Wedge, who was a Radri artist from the Urambi Mission in Cowra on the banks of Lachlan River. And the other artist is Roy Kennedy, who is also a Radri artist but grew up at Darlington Point Mission uh, further down the river on the Murrumbidgee. They both grew up on missions, living under those sort of uh, government segregation policies where they received little to no education. Both, however, ended up um, becoming artists later in life, um, once they had sort of come to Sydney or moved to Sydney, and they started working at the Aura College in Redfern. Both of them were really wanting to be documentary photographers. However, H.J. Wedge eventually found his practice within a painting style that people really responded to. With the arm on the train, and you know, you, you just look and your mind of one one that's back, thinking about, you know, I wonder what it was like, you know, before they built all the cities and then, you know, there's only this bush scrubs and stuff, and the Aboriginal people, they didn't have to worry about diseases, poor, you know, like pox, pox and stuff like that there. The English people even brought disease out here to wipe us out, but they killed a lot of people with this here and, and, and they're chucking Aboriginal people in, into blaming prisons and that. And they was in there like, they're packed in like blaming sheep. That's the type of thing I used to think about. Then I used to go home, get home. Then I used to sit there and, and try to, how to, to paint them and that. And, and that's what I'm, I'm all about. His paintings naturally used line and engaged with that linear format, which was so much part of that sort of Radri and Southeast tradition. My name is Roy Kennedy, and uh, I really come from the, from this mission here. My stepfather, well, he used to make boomerangs and never go to La Perouse, like you know, and he was out there making them. And he used to do his carvings and everything. I used to turn around and, well, it's not that I much, took much notice of what they'd done, it's just the way that I wanted to you know, create something, do something of my own thing of a style. Well, I seem to have a style of my own because you look at me trees, everyone knows me trees, like you know, the mulberry tree, the church and the, the police station. They're the main three things that's in that, in that there. Watch them, and my little houses. It's in every, every bit of artwork I do, even in paintings, etchings. So these works are by Roy Kennedy. These are his prints that he makes, which always depict either his mother's uh, mission, Warren Gaster mission on, on this side of the river, or the mission that he grew up at, which was Police Paddock Mission down here. Roy Kennedy started going to Eora and became an extraordinarily proficient printer and etcher. And all of his works are literally made up of small carvings. So he literally works away, carving away at his plates um, with small tools, scratching in designs and, and, and really carving out these images. The one thing that always struck me was that um, Roy had no um, knowledge of the work of Tommy McRae. Yet when we put those two works together, there's a natural synergy between them. The two artists, you know, from almost a hundred years difference, so Tommy McRae working away with those very fine marks, um, slowly working away with pen and ink, building up these images, slowly scratching into the, paint, into the paper. And Roy doing the same, but on his etching plate, working with those tools, slowly scratching in, building up these images and creating these very strong images that work only with a black and white, a positive and negative space, very much like the same way that we see on those shields which to me starts to speak about an inherent way of working, a sort of cultural tradition, which I guess in many ways is buried within us in the southeast. So walking around here today, I guess um, I'm struck by how empty this place is compared to Uncle Roy's images that show so many people, so much activity happening in this country. You just sort of wonder what's happened to this community and, and how we can remember it. When you look at um, what we have, it's enormous, you know, it, it might be fragmented, it might be in bits and, you know, um, and there's only a few, there's some key knowledge holders here and there, but, but, but we, we're part of something amazing. <laughs>